Thank you, and good morning, everyone. I'd like to extend my own personal warm welcome to all of you to RSA Conference 2010. Now, this gathering of ours gets more important each year because more than just the occasional story of a database breach, the magnitude and volume of cyber vulnerabilities and attacks have become mainstream topics in the media as never before. Underscoring the criticality of the situation, this week you'll be hearing from Secretary Napolitano, FBI Director Mueller, White House Cybersecurity Coordinator Howard Schmidt, and a host of industry and government leaders. You know, it, it really never gets easier for us as practitioners and vendors, does it? Malware at pandemic levels, a global economy struggling to recover in a straitjacket of cost controls, and a new wave of computing struggling to take hold, cloud computing. But it could get easier. How? By leveraging the technologies enabling the cloud to secure it. Sounds heavenly. But as my father used to say, <clears throat> everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die to get there. And because cloud computing represents a challenge as well as an opportunity, we have to be careful we don't end up in security hell. So whenever I feel boxed in by a big challenge like this, I like to look to history as a reminder of the boundless creativity of the human mind, its ability to completely reimagine aspects of life that to others seem unchangeable. And we don't need to look any farther than the recent past and the man we honor this morning, Whit Diffie, as well as our own RSNA for this kind of creativity in their reimagining of cryptography. These are people who see what others before them cannot, no matter how hard they look. And from their insight, they build a new vision, sometimes quite literally. Consider another <clears throat> inspiring example. Imagine what it was like to be a blind person in the three centuries following Gutenberg's invention of the printing press. The printing press represented a sweeping transformation of the information infrastructure of the time. It changed forever the way thoughts, knowledge, and information were shared. And yet, if you were blind, you would have been locked out of this new world of recorded knowledge. Then, in the early 1800s, along comes Louis Braille, blind since the age of three. As a 16-year-old, he envisioned and then devised a system that would enable the blind to read as well as write. His curiosity led him to a form of communication used by soldiers on the battlefield at night when they needed to send written messages to each other, but didn't dare light a match. Braille adopted their grill of raised dots, but dramatically improved and simplified their system, and it persists till today. As one historian put it, Braille was the Gutenberg of the blind. So how does this relate to our industry and our situation today? I believe we in the security industry need a more elevated and expansive vision connected to the huge wave of IT transformation that is underway right now, cloud computing. Think for a moment about why cloud computing is so powerful. It enables businesses to leave their aging, inflexible, and costly IT infrastructures behind and move to a new pay-as-you-go model characterized by choice and agility. And not a moment too soon because organizations are spending as much as two-thirds of their IT budgets to just maintain their infrastructures and applications, keeping the lights on. 
Cloud computing can dramatically alter this two-thirds, one-third ratio so that much more energy and investment can be directed toward real innovation and competitive advantage. Trouble is, something's holding back the full realization of this vision. And that, in a word, is security. CIO Magazine recently published its State of the CIO study. And get this, 51% of CIOs surveyed, more than half cited security as their greatest concern surrounding the adoption of cloud computing. And if you're suffering from cloud fatigue or are tired of hearing about it, let me remind you of the then MIT Media Labs visionary, Nicholas Negroponte, who said in 1997 that the internet was the most overhyped but underestimated phenomenon in history. Mark my words, the same will be true of cloud computing. Cloud computing will complete the transformation of IT infrastructures unleashed by the internet. Organizations will demand it because they must, absolutely must get faster and better returns on their IT investments. So we must play an essential role in making cloud computing a reality. So here's the scope of our challenge and our opportunity as I see it. The challenge is to ensure that safety is designed and built into the cloud so that organizations of every size, from the smallest merchant or agency to the largest government or multinational, can make broad use of the cloud, fully confident that their information and transactions are secure. Our industry needs to deliver security solutions that ensure levels of protection in the cloud that surpass what physical environments offer today. In short, people must everywhere be able to trust the cloud, even if they literally and metaphorically can't see it. That's our challenge. What about our opportunity? The answer is that cloud computing is going to make your work more important and prominent than ever before. Cloud computing is our opportunity to, to change the way we deliver security inside out. I say that because the cloud will force organizations to pay serious attention to their security management processes, not just their endpoint, dead endpoint security technologies. We have the rare opportunity for a do-over, to be present at the creation and rollout of this new wave of computing with security built in from the get-go. We can be on the ground floor to create an infrastructure that is actually more secure and more enabling of innovation than today's physical infrastructures. That's my focus today, how together we can make the cloud inherently secure, compliant, and governed in a, way, in a way and manner that ensures confidentiality, integrity, and availability of our information. In other words, security that enables business like never before. So where do we start? In the world of cloud computing, we will need to enforce all the same identity, information, and infrastructure policies we have in the physical world. But it gets trickier, because virtual infrastructures decouple your software environment from the underlying hardware infrastructure, so that you can aggregate many servers, storage systems, and networks into shared pools of resources. As we consider how to make the cloud safe, I think it's best to begin with people, process, and technology, just as we do in other aspects of business and security. So let's start with the people, shall we? In the physical world, all of these are siloed. Separate groups focus on storage, servers, networks, endpoints, and so on. In the cloud, 
Many of these operations and roles will converge. For example, 